Hello everyone, this is King Kuni LT. This video, I will show you our new product. Uh, this is KC868 A32 that have 32 channel relay output. And this time, we have designed this board based on ESP32 module and not use the MOSFET output. Uh, this board will have the relay output and every channel of relay have max 10 ampere output. And also, we have designed this board now is for uh, 1.3, that is the fourth of the board. Uh, so we have make four of the board, and at last, uh, it's successfully. Now I will show you some hardware details. Okay, let's look at how it works and the hardware details. Okay, let's look at this A32 board we have designed. You can see this is the in front size, and this is the back of the PCB board, and this is in front. And the relay, we have used the 32 channel. Or every channel will have COM and O and NC. That normal open and normal close and COM. And the max current is 10 ampere. You can see uh, this is 10 ampere for 277 voltage. This is the max. And uh, uh, you can see uh, this bird is V1.3. Uh, from Kinkoni A32, that means this is the first of the PC board, and the before the three board have feature, and this is successfully began with the first board, and this is the output for relay socket, and this socket also is removable, so you will easy to connect with your one, and this is for input a uh, 32 channel input. Also, you can see for long distance design. Uh, this is for long distance design. Every channel can connect with your wall switch max support one kilometer. Uh, so this is 32 channel digital input for wall switch or for dry contact sensor you can use. And this is for power supply, uh, DC 12 volts as before. This is power supply, also is removable. And this is USB type C. The type C for debug and the download the firmware. And this button is for download. And this is reset. This is reset button. And this mod is ESP32. Uh, you can see this is ESP32. So that you can use the ESP home, integrate with home assistant, or you can use a person or use Arduino IDE to write the code uh, downloading it. And this time we have at this interface that is Serial part uh, that is RXD, TXD, but we have added this 5 volt. The 5 volt are mainly for HMI display, uh, such as now is support use the next display directly, so that you can use the HMI device uh, connect with this part, white part. And this also is the Ethernet, and the Ethernet part of the ESP32. And this have A1, A2, A3, A4. That is for analog. We can see uh, this part. Uh, this is for analog input. And this is A and B is for IS485. A and B for long distance, IS, IS485 bus. Uh, you can also use mode bus. And you can see this also have a right socket. That is for extend for I2C interface. You can see VCC, ground, clock, and the date. So that for extend the I2C device. Okay, this is the board, how, how we design. And if you want to install this board on the DIN rail, so you can install this PCB board uh, to this green button shoe. Like this, uh, you can see. This is the button, and uh, this is the in front, and uh, you can install this button on the DIN rail, uh, just like this. Okay, you can see, I can install in the DIN rail, this part. Okay, this is the hardware design of A32, and the software, also you can integrate to Home Assistant, or you can write code by yourself. It's easy to use, and I think it has many functions and interface for you to use. Okay, thanks for watching.